This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at Markovnikov's rule. When propene, which is an unsymmetrical alkene, reacts with hydrogen bromide, there are two possible products. So in these two reactions, we have identical reactants. We have propene and hydrogen bromide. But in the first reaction, the product is one bromopropane. In the second reaction, it's two bromopropane. So next we'll use Markovnikov's rule to decide which one is the major product. Let's start by looking at the carbocation formed in each reaction. In the first reaction, which produces one bromopropane, we have a primary carbocation. In the second reaction, which produces two bromopropane, we have a secondary carbocation. The primary carbocation is less stable than the secondary carbocation. The order of stability of carbocations is primary carbocations are the least stable and tertiary carbocations are the most stable. Therefore, the major product in the reaction of propene and hydrogen bromide will be 2 bromopropane. This is because of the stability of the secondary carbocation. The carbon atoms that are bonded to the carbon with a positive charge produce what's called a positive inductive effect. The more carbon atoms that are bonded to this carbon with a positive charge, the greater the positive inductive effect and the greater the stability of the carbocation. So we've just looked at the explanation for Markovnikov's rule. Now we look at the rule itself. When an unsymmetrical alkene such as propene reacts with a hydrogen halide, the hydrogen adds to the carbon that is already bonded to the greatest number of hydrogens. So when hydrogen bromide reacts with propene, the hydrogen atom will bond to the carbon that's already bonded to the greatest number of hydrogens, which is this carbon here. Therefore, the major product is 2-bromopropane. Let's look at another example. In this reaction, we have butuanine reacting with hydrogen chloride. Using Markovnikov's rule, we can predict the major product. So, the hydrogen atom bonds to the carbon that's already bonded to the greatest number of hydrogens, which is this carbon here. So, the major product is 2-chlorobutane. Next, we'll use Markovnikov's rule to predict the product between an unsymmetrical alkene and an interhalogen. When an unsymmetrical alkene reacts with an interhalogen, which is two halogens bonded together, the electrophilic portion of the molecule bonds to the carbon that is bonded to the greatest number of hydrogens. So in this reaction, we have propene reacting with iodine monochloride. Because chlorine is more electronegative than iodine, the chlorine has a negative dipole and the iodine has a positive dipole. The iodine is the electrophilic portion of the molecule and it bonds to the carbon that's already bonded to the greatest number of hydrogen atoms, which is this carbon here. Next, we can see that the iodine has bonded to this carbon atom and we have the formation of a secondary carbocation. The chloride ion then uses its lone pair of electrons to form a bond with this carbon atom. And finally, we have the product, which is 2-chloro-1-iodopropane. 